What's up YouTube? It's your boy Josh out here with Infinite Bassin. Today we are at the garage because we got some goodies in the mail today. I don't know if you guys are familiar with a company called Bass Boat Technologies, but they make a supposedly pretty awesome mount for dual mounts for your consoles, for your bow, so you can mount double graphs on your boat, you know, however which way you want them, stacked side by side, either way. Today ours came in and inside of this box right here it's gonna slide that out the way is the item in question comes nice and packaged these things are already pre-assembled packing slip all of your mount hardware and screw covers and they included our favorite stickers so we can put stickers on the boat this is it, and this thing is solid. It comes pre-marked for the graphs that you're going to install, and this thing should bolt straight up to the console. Might need to make a drill a few holes and whatnot, but uh, should be pretty self-explanatory. I haven't read the directions yet, which I'm probably gonna end up putting you guys on pause, and uh, knocking those out just so we know exactly where we're going with this. But first, before that happens, that Helix 9 that's in the flush mounted in the dash has to come out. Uh, let me get some tools together and uh, we're going to get to it and get that thing ripped out. thing to see if we could get it kind of straight but uh took a break and went and found the old trusty level just to double check our eyeball skills go ahead and pull this off make this a little bit easier up so we don't get fiberglass dust on us. See if I can do this with one hand. All right, gonna have two hands for this one. Got to reach up and around, and it's not just gonna work. Whew. All right, guys. So, with the way my console is designed back here. I had to get some help to hold the screwdriver to put these screws in. Um, yeah, so the steering column back here behind the console, there's like a cover that goes up around it. So you gotta go up and around the top of that thing to get these screws in, which was a pain in the butt, but they're in. The thing's rock solid. So right now we're putting in the uh, gimbal bracket for the graph. And, uh, 
uh, once it's tight, we'll throw the graph on and see how it goes. Uh, we still got one more graph that we're waiting on. It'll be here in the next few days. So once that's here, we'll be able to finish this. guys we're back um, one of the things that I've ran into so far with installing this kit uh, isn't really a problem but uh, the factory gimbal brackets the holes that are drilled in them are a little bit smaller than the bolts that are supplied with this kit so one of the things that I've done is I've took that 14 or that size quarter inch drill bit drilled these holes out a little bit so these bolts will fit in there nice and snug so we can get these all mounted up I went ahead and uh, pre-wired up everything. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Uh, power cord and Ethernet cord that runs back to the hub. We're going to get this bolted up and throw some power on this thing and see if we can't figure out how to get these things linked together. Easy as that. Get the other graph. This thing, brand new, just came in. That's what we've been waiting on this whole time. Here we go. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Installed, done and done. We're getting ready to go in and link them together. Let me peel the plastic out. This thing's got these bumpers that sit right back to it, so these things don't rattle when you're up and up and moving. Ethernet hub's done in there, and this rod locker. So, that's going to wrap it up, guys. We're going to hit it, power these things up, get them all linked together, and uh, see if we can't figure out how to make these things read the, read the same. So, uh, might have to do that in another video. I don't even know if I'm going to make a video of that. But, uh, yeah, pretty straightforward process. It takes two people. One person can do it, but two people definitely helps. Uh, so, uh, hopefully the next time you see this, we'll be out on the water getting to play with these things. All right, we're out of here. Thank you.